Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you a day in my life as a sponsoring and fundraising manager here at Theatre Dortmund. Let's go! As you can see, I am not a morning person. I make a fresh cup of French coffee, get ready for the day, and leave the house. It's a cloudy morning here in Germany, but I enjoy how quiet and peaceful the streets are. Good morning everyone. I'm walking to the theater now. Super, super tired actually. I have a meeting in about 30 minutes, so I have to get into the office. It's an internal meeting this time, so yeah, wish me luck and we'll see you soon. nothing fancy, but I feel really grateful for having my own office space. This is something I really rarely see in Japanese work culture or even in corporate America, but this is so important for me because it gives me the quietness and room to think clearly and work effectively. Once I get to my office, I head straight to work. My first task is to always check emails and reply to the urgent ones. Managing corporate sponsorships and major donors involves a lot of external communication. Then I make a to-do list for the things that I need to do today. For example, I have some Excel work to do and I need to update the CRM. I also write and review contracts for new partnerships and finalize the details and basically make sure that both the theater and sponsors are happy and getting what they want from this deal. All right, so now I'm going to go upstairs to the conference room because I have an internal meeting in about three minutes. I'm actually late. So this meeting is going to be together with the general director, the head of press and PR, and also the head of ticket sales and obviously me sponsoring and fundraising. Unfortunately, you can't come with me this time, but I'll tell you all about it later. Bye-bye. All right, everyone, I just came back from the meeting and the meeting went pretty well. It was just an internal meeting, as I said earlier, to rediscuss the terms of our uh, newest contract that we have with a sponsoring company. And now I have to do some actual work on my computer. So I'm going to go do that. And yeah, let's see how much I can do before my next meeting. Bye bye. So basically, my job is to secure the financial means for the theater's performances and productions by creating sponsorship deals and managing relationships with high net worth individuals. I oversee six artistic departments alone, which is quite a big responsibility. After talking with the finance and marketing departments, I head out for lunch. Today, I'm eating at this restaurant called Dean and David because I'm in the mood for a good Japanese teriyaki chicken bowl. All right, back in the office and now I have another meeting. <laughs> Usually, if it's a potential client meeting, I would go physically to their offices, but today it's conducted online. Nice to meet you. My name is Sayaka, and I'm currently the sponsoring and fundraising uh, manager here at Theater Dortmund in Germany, where I seek sponsors and organize all sorts of corporate and VIP events. Uh, I actually have a very unique background, so I'm actually a former ballet dancer. I've danced for over 20 years in all sorts of countries, but I always had a very strong interest in business. So I studied economics and psychology at Harvard and also previously worked as a management consultant. These are the core of my role, maintaining relationships with existing sponsors, but also establishing new partnerships and developing the theater as a business. In the late afternoon, I have a small break before the performance tonight, so I go out for a walk and take a break at Starbucks. I 
know it's not good for you, but I am definitely indulging myself in a lemon cake and iced coffee anyways. <laughs> This is my favorite time of the day because it's my personal downtime where I can focus on my goals, reflect on the day, and also plan ahead. Over time, I've realized that I work the best at my job when I have personal aspirations as well. It just keeps me motivated and inspired, and it reminds me of the North Star that I'm aiming for in the long run. And since it's June and it's warmer than the winter days, the Germans are all outside having a beer in the sun, having a curry worse, they're enjoying themselves. Dortmund is one of the 10 host cities for the European Soccer Championship that's going on right now, so as you can see, the city is quite soccer influenced right now. Okay, back in my office for the third time today. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and prepare myself for the annual International Ballet Gala. I change from sneakers into elegant black heels, make sure I look somewhat presentable because I guess that's part of my job. I mean, I can't really afford to look like a beggar in my job, so... These cars are actually our sponsors from Volkswagen and Hupert. That's why they're here. And this is a poster of our newest collaboration where we are building a school with our junior ballet company and also the youth club of Borussia Dortmund. And because Dortmund is so well known for football, collaborating with them gives us a lot of business opportunities. As you can see, the place slowly fills up with people. Willst du mal hallo sagen? <laughs> Networking is really important in this job. So usually, I'll be talking to all sorts of people during this time before the show, but obviously it's kind of awkward to film conversations, so this time I didn't. This is the upper lounge where we host all sorts of VIP events, and what you see here, this is also due to a sponsoring deal with a transportation company called 21 that bought the naming rights of this lounge in exchange for exposure. And let the show begin. We have all sorts of international stars in this gala from all over the world. From Berlin State Ballet to the legendary Lucia Lacaro with her partner. We have everything from neoclassical Nocturne to the classic Esmeralda Paradou and amazing choreographers like William Forsyth or David Dawson, which our company Ballet Dortmund performs. As you can see, the performance tonight was a huge success. It was actually 100% sold out. People always ask me whether I miss dancing on stage and the truth is, of course, from time to time I'll get emotional about it. But I think that right now I'm just really happy to be able to support my colleagues and also open up new doors for the theatre world and the ballet world. Alright you guys, the ballet gala is over. I think I'm done for the day. It is almost 9pm. Uh, it is still super super bright outside so I'm really happy about that. Just gonna go home now. Uh, probably just say hello to a couple of last people. But that's it for today you guys. Thank you so much for watching up until the end. And I hope that this video gave you some kind of insights about my day as a sponsoring and fundraising manager. Oh, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!